in real life. But Kuto was absolutely ecstatic. He was so excited because he was going to see Akashi in an hour. He may see this specific lovely boyfriend of his every day but he was never any less excited. Akashi was the best part of his day and he got to see the other at lunch, and eat with him. Akashi hadn't been eating as much recently and Bakuto brought mochi in hopes Akashi would appreciate it. He couldn't stop thinking about the other until Konoha approached him. Hey. Bakuto. Ha. Bakuto looked up to Konoha, snapping from his daydreams. What is it? Is Akashi. Like okay. From what I know yay. What's wrong? Bakuto's eyebrows knitted together, face growing serious. He pushed himself up from his seat a little bit, leveling his face with Konoha's who finally looked at him. He's just been really sad and angry. He yelled at me and Komi. He like won't respond to teachers either. He almost got sent to the student services place. Well did you guys do anything? We were whispering too loud. And eating too loud. Oh. Well I don't know anything. I'll check on him. And ask Kenma and Kiru. He probably told Kenma something. Listen I'm sorry but I don't care how you figure it out. I'm not that invested. He's just being weird. And annoying. Not annoying. He's being annoying. He's a fucking asshole right now. Well I don't know anything. Sorry. It's whatever just. Talk to him. I will don't worry. Good. Kanoha gave an awkward thumbs up and made his way back to his seat. Bakuto pulled out his phone and opened his messages. He decided to try Kiru first. Hey. Kiru bro. What's up Boku bro? Hi love giggly Kiru. Hi loving Bakuto. Adorable. Okay what's up? Have you heard from Kashi today? Uh. No. Something wrong. Is he okay? Yeah he's okay. From what I know. Just wondering. I'll ask Kenma Bakuto's happy front. Get back to me okay. I will don't worry. You better remember. I need to know my boyfriend is okay. It's about Akashi I'll remember. I know I'm just messing. Still serious. But I am messing. I love you. I love you too happy baby. Next he went to Kenma. Another partner of his. Kenma. 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 What? I'm in class. Sorry. It's important. Is it? Yes. It's about Akashi. Oh. What is it I guess? Have you heard anything from Akashi? Apparently he's been really mean. Did he tell you anything? No. Kenma. Please. I'm worried. How do you know from one word? You have a weird tone. Now. Please tell the truth. Fine. He did but I don't know if I can tell you everything. Well why is he so sangry? He's been having an episode. He wanted me to tell you guys later but. Yay. And I can't say why. By the way. That's fine. I just wanted to know what was up. Worried about him. Me too. Should I check on him at lunch? Yes. Please. He's really not doing okay. I have mochi for him. He probably won't eat much. But that's very sweet of you cow. Yay. He hasn't been eating a ton. Just like Tsukishima upset Bakuto. PFFT. Yay. Neither of them. I have to go I'm about to be in trouble. Bye. I love you. Lie. Kenma is a flying. Bakuto huffed. What was he going to do? Akashi wasn't feeling okay and Bakuto was the only one who could help him. That means Akashi was absolutely fucked unless Bakuto figured something out. Lunch was so damn close. Akashi was the only thing he could think about the entire class but he was already failing math anyway so it didn't do much to him. He'd need to ask Akashi for help. No. Akashi needed his help right now. He didn't need to think about how Bakuto was failing math. Bakuto huffed and hurried to his feet once he was dismissed. Rushing to Akashi's classroom, getting yelled at for running more than he'd like to admit. 
He bursted into Akashi's home room. The setter's classmates not surprised by the energetic third year noisily stumbling his way to Akashi. Akashi had his head down against the desk, his chunky headphones hardly letting him lay comfortably. Bakuto sat down on the table next to his boyfriend, lightly tapping the boy's shoulder. Akashi didn't respond. He wasn't asleep he was simply ignoring Bakuto. You won't have any luck with him. He even ignored the sensei. Don't push him he'll kill you. Bakuto frowned decided not to say anything back to them. He didn't want to actually start a fight. He scrunched his face in his frustration and stared at the black tuff of hair for a moment, before a light bulb went off. He lightly dragged his fingers through Akashi's hair, who took a deep breath, relaxing with the action. He nudged his headphones off, looking up to Bakuto. What? Akashi wasn't mad. Akashi wasn't mad. Akashi wasn't mad. I brought you mochi. Do you want it? I got it from the corner store this morning. Akashi's face twisted in a strange way. I guess. Bakuto smiled and pulled out his bento box, opening it to retrieve the mochi and only the mochi. Akashi gave him an inquisitorial look when the owl head didn't take out his real lunch, but he brushed it off and took the box of eight mochi. Akashi opened it with shaking hands and picked up one of the candies, biting half of it. He pulled his knees up to his chest as he chewed closing his eyes. He was tired wasn't he, Bakuto felt a little bad for disturbing him now. Akashi scooted towards Bakuto in his chair, laying his head on the other's thigh. Bakuto went a bit red leaning back against his arms. They sat in silence for moments, ignoring a fee off glances from other people. They didn't usually do any more than a quick hug at school so everyone was, surprised, to say the least. But Bakuto decided to break the stiff silence with the beginning to his plan. He wanted to call it Mission Make Akashi Happier. But Kenma would tell him it was a stupid name. Hey Kashi. Yay. Can I come home with you after school? Ah. Uh. My mum doesn't really like you Ray. But she's not home this week right? She has that weird business venture in Osaka. Listen I just. Don't want you to come over. Why? Did I? Do something. A wave of anxiety washed over Bakuto. It tugged on his spine and made his ears feel like they were on fire. Akashi sat up and deadpanned at Bakuto. The third year squirmed under his gaze. No. You didn't. Listen my room's just really messy Bakuto and it's embarrassing. I don't mind. I'll help you clean it. Akashi's face went pale. No that's too much Bakuto. But I like cleaning. And you like when things are clean. He pouted running his hands through his own hair. That's just too much okay. I don't want you to take your time for something I can do myself. But you can't do it yourself. I can clean Bakuto. Then why is it messy in the first place? If you could clean it you would. I. Akashi gave up grabbing another mochi and stuffing it in his mouth. Fine. Come over. Don't expect it to be much fun though. Even sitting in silence with you is a hundred times better than doing it by myself. MHM. So now they were in front of Akashi's house. Bakuto had only gained more energy throughout the day and Akashi was left falling asleep as he walked. He woke up a bit when they stepped inside but it would never be enough to truly wake him. I'm home. Akashi hadn't talked the entire time they were walking home. He sounded like a corpse. How was your day? Fine. Bakuto's here. Hi Bakuto. Hi Mr. Akashi. Akashi's dad walked into the room smiling with a polite wave. Happy you're here. But I need you two to be quiet. Tomi is sleeping. Can I see her later? Yes of course. Just. Especially you. Be quiet okay. Right sir. Akashi shushed him. Preemptively making his way up the stairs. Bakuto. Yay. Can I talk to you? Yay course. What is it sir? Why are you here? Not that I don't like that you are I just didn't think Kiji would allow anyone over. Well he almost didn't. But I promised to clean their room. Cause they can't. Yay. Thanks for that really. Yay course. He doesn't feel okay so I'm gonna help. Yay and thank god. 
He hasn't been happy in a bit. His mum and his room really aren't helping him to calm down at home either. So thank you. You're very helpful kid. The senior ruffled Bakuto's hair and tapped him against the shoulder guiding him to the stairs. I try. Bakuto climbed up the step staircase and glanced to the two doors at the top. The space was mildly ominous. No lighting and two doors on each side. One was Tomi's room and the other was Akashi's. Bakuto gave a small knock to Akashi's door. When he got no response he invited himself in, being greeted by an unexpected sight. Akashi in his darkened room, curled up under the covers, shaking. He was crying. Bakuto shut the door and stepped over all the trash and clothes to get to Akashi's bed. He sat down quietly dragging his hand softly down Akashi's back. His breath hitched and Bakuto flipped him around carefully. What happened? Everything. All day. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I'm such a bother. You wanted to hang out and I'm just fucking depressed. I'm so annoying. I'm not annoyed Agashi. I knew how you were feeling. I came over to help you. But why? I'm so annoying. I hate myself. But Yuto huffed. Kenma's better than him at this. Tough love works better for Akashi but Bakuto just can't do that. How could he be mean to Akashi of all people? Then he remembered what he came here to do. Maybe cleaning his room will help. Kashi is happy when the area around him is clean. Bakuto got up, pushing the curtains back and pulling the blinds up on Akashi's window. What are you doing? Cleaning your room. So you feel better. Bakuto grinned. Wanna help? Yay but. There's so much stuff everywhere. And trash and. Akashi curled up covering himself in blankets. Hey don't worry about that. I'll get the big stuff okay. But. I. Bakuto shushed Akashi. Striping himself of his hoodie. Handing the clothing to Akashi along with the other's phone. Just chill out okay. I got it. You can put away your personal stuff. I got your clothes and trash and dishes. But that's... Shush. Put the hoodie on and lay down. You're okay. Let me get everything up. You'll feel better. Akashi just nodded slipping on the oversized hoodie, dragging his knees up under it. Bakuto grabbed a trash bag from the closet and got to work. By the end he had two trash bags and two men a dirty clothes for the hamper. Alashi had fallen asleep pretty quickly after a few words with Kenma and Kiru. He always got tired after crying. Bakuto took the trash outside and started a load of laundry finally coming back to sit next to Akashi. Gashi. Gashi. Bakuto shook him lightly. MHM. What is it? I did it. Akashi sat up. The floor was almost completely clean. Bakuto must have vacuumed too. The window was open and the stuffy room was being aired out, and it was colder now. He could breath. Holy fuck. What is it? Nothing. Just didn't realize how much my room stressed me out. Is it better now? Yes of course. Kashi just sighed and laid back, pushing himself into the wall and beckoning Bakuto onto his bed. I put laundry in the wash too. Thank you so much. Really. I do feel better. Good. Great. Akashi all better. No not even close. Just better. My room was bothering me but the more I thought about it the more unmotivated I was and the dirtier it got and I just. He sighed. Feel better now. Yay. Yay thanks to you. Yay. Agashi. I love you.